Hello and welcome back to DCS Web Editor. We are showing you a preview of our new 3D editor. It combines the efficient workflow of a 2D editor with the precision of three dimensions. By default, the 3D camera follows your mouse cursor. Pressing the control key allows you to view the environment from a first person view on the ground. The camera integration was developed by our co-developer Flying Dice. Holding the Alt key will switch to a bird's eye view. Let's add some insurgents to this city. With our current third-party maps, it has been a challenge to get the unit placement right. Now you can place units exactly where you want them. And look at your work from different angles. The 3D view is also very useful to scout for ideal SAM site locations. This looks like a promising spot. Let's drop one of the many community templates. This one was created by Warlord. Instead of scouting for locations, you can also use the real SAM locations created by the community. Just click on the location templates to add SAM sites and accurate locations. Toggle the threat ranges. And if that's not enough, you can overlay over 10,000 real SAM site locations across the world. Let's take a look at some advanced group manipulation features. Set the paste offset X and Y coordinates to quickly create patterns. Press Shift L to line up units. Press Shift G to align units to a grid. Press Shift R to randomize unit rotation. Press Shift P to randomize unit positions within the parameters. There's also an undo button. Press Shift T to transform, rotate, and scale units. Creating your own templates is easy. Just select some units, create a category and description. Your template will now appear at this location as a tent icon. Units will be placed exactly where you put them last time. Just think about how much time you will save. Let's drag and drop some helicopters. Of course, you are not limited to static units. Templates can include full airbase or carrier setups, including patrols, AWACS, tankers, and their waypoints. So you get a full operating base with the click of a button. We are hoping to move to beta in the next days. 
Thanks to our Patreons, testers, and developers for all the support. Join our Discord, 